Welcome to the Adobe Animate Parallax Scrolling Tutorial. Parallax scrolling is a technique whereby 2D images appear to travel by the camera at different speeds. Those further away from the camera travel slower than those closer to the camera. This creates the illusion of depth and adds immersion to your 2D animation. Let's get started. We're going to start by creating an ActionScript 3 document. This is the only document type that allows for 3D manipulation of objects in Adobe Animate. Once you have your document created, you're going to want to make sure that you have the right frame rate set, because remember, if you change your frame rate after you've started your animation, it's going to cause you problems. I'm going to start by drawing out my ground layer. Adjusting the dimensions to allow for the parallax scrolling effect. and converting it to a symbol. I'm going to create a new layer and name it Sky. Remember to always name your layers. I'm going to put my sky layer below the ground layer and adjust the dimensions to allow for the parallax scrolling. I'm also going to convert my sky object into a movie clip as well. I'm now going to create a new layer and name it hills and I draw out the hills using a pen tool. I'm going to fast forward this just a bit. Make sure you close your pen drawing loop to allow you to apply a fill to it. I'm now going to select my newly drawn hills and convert them into a movie clip as well. You notice that there is a 3D position and view tab in the properties panel. We're going to adjust the Z value and in essence push it back away from the camera. This will make the object look smaller. It's actually not getting any smaller, just getting further away from the camera. Since the hills now look a little bit smaller, since they've been pushed away from the camera, they don't fill the entire scene. So I'm going to go into the movie clip, duplicate the hills and have them fill the entire scene. I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit. Hold on. We're going to create two layers for bushes. One layer will be closer to the camera and one layer will be further away from the camera. Let's start with the bushes that will be further away. Using the ellipse tool, I'm going to draw some ellipses together and then go inside and delete the lines, making what will be our bush. Going to convert the bush into a movie clip and then go inside the movie clip and duplicate the bush so that we have bushes along our parallax scrolling scene. I'm going to fast forward this again. Once we have all the bushes duplicated in our movie clip, we're going to push back the movie clip on the z-axis making it be further away from the camera, but not as far as the hills. We'll then duplicate the far bushes layer and label it near bushes. We'll adjust the Z position of the near bushes movie clip, making it closer to the camera.
We'll now create a virtual camera by clicking the camera tool right here. By animating the camera, we are going to be able to create the parallax side-scrolling effect. If you want to hide the content that is on the pasteboard and only show what the camera actually sees, click this icon here. I'm now just fine-tuning the Z position of the different movie clips to get the best parallax scrolling effect. Select a frame further along in your timeline for your camera layer. While holding shift, select the same frame for your bottom layer. This will select the same frame for all your layers. With the frame selected, go under Insert, Timeline, and select Keyframe. This will create a keyframe on each layer. Select a new keyframe on your camera layer, and then pan your camera across to the end of the parallax scrolling scene. Remember, to pan your camera, you need to have the camera tool selected, even if you are on the camera layer. Right click on any frame in the camera layer and select Create Classic Tween. This will animate your camera panning from one side to the other. When you play back the animation, you'll notice that the near bushes, the far bushes, and the hills appear to travel at different speeds, creating the illusion of depth. Thank you.